We've all heard the term football hooligans. These people consider themselves to be the representative of a club's fan base and quite frankly the leaders of such organization do have influence on the players on the pitch. Mauro Icardi messed with inter hooligans and then feared for his life in the following months or Neymar Jr. another guy who has come under the wrath of PSG hooligans. But the question is what if these guys actually had footballing talent and somehow managed to play professional football? Well, welcome to UW Football and today we'll be looking at what happens when a professional footballer turns into a hooligan. The two scenarios that I mentioned early on were bad but these football hooligans of France and Italy are nowhere near as bad as football hooligans in South America and Eastern Europe and Eastern Europe is where this professional footballer plays. His name is Alexander Cochrane. Now before I continue with this video, Cochrane isn't officially part of any football hooligan group. He has been convicted of hooliganism which is an act where a younger person is associated with an organization, doesn't have to be football related and is involved in some violent acts. Now let's talk about Cochrane. Well he came through the ranks of Lokomotiv Moscow but burst onto the professional scene with their rivals Dynamo Moscow and bar like 33 days when he was at Anji, he was a Dynamo Moscow player for a good 8 years and he scored 41 times in 181 league games for the club. Then he joined Zenit St. Petersburg in January of 2016. Two years later, he enjoyed his best goal scoring season, 19 goals in just 35 games. But one month on the back of that season, in October of 2018, it was all over for him. On 7th October 2018, Alexander Cochran went full on berserk. Him along with his good friend Pavel Mamayev and a few other younger men assaulted Channel 1 show presenter. The presenter suffered brain damage, a nose break and various different facial injuries. But these boys weren't done yet. They then went into a restaurant where a Russian government official was sat in and then proceeded to beat him with a chair. And in all of this, racial slurs were being thrown his way. So you'll be wondering what was their motive behind these attacks. Well, it was nothing other than racial animosity. And this wasn't the first time that Cochrane had gone completely insane. In 2017, he ran his Bentley into a bunch of cars just because he was annoyed of the traffic. This resulted in him getting his license suspended. In 2016, when Russia were knocked out of the Euro 2016, Cochrane and Mamayev, and again these two, went into a Monte Carlo nightclub and allegedly ordered a bunch of hookah and a million dollar worth of champagne. This guy has 48 caps for Russia. Law authorities, however, had enough of him after his 2018 incident. He was charged with hooliganism an act that carries a prison time of 5 to 7 years and surprise to many including myself, he was actually sent to prison. Zenit president condoned his actions and terminated his contract. Russian sports minister said that he will never play for the national team again. On 9th April, his trial began and he was sentenced to 1 year and 6 months in penal colony. He got 18 months for a crime whose penalty is 16 months, okay. But then he got paroled out on 17 September of 2019 because of good behavior. He got out just 5 months into his sentence. And remember when Zenith's president condoned his behavior? Well, he signed Cochrane just one day after his release. So yeah, this is what happens when a professional footballer involves himself into a hooliganism. You just spend few months in prison and then you get on with your career. 
Like if you enjoyed, subscribe and I will see you soon.